Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, just want to give you a short uh, tour of my new bag, the Beetle Pro Pack Tech XL. Great bag, great, great bag. I don't make too many videos, but I'm gonna keep it short. I'm not gonna be like anyone that you know wants a descriptive video of all the hand tools and stuff like that. You know, I'm gonna keep it short because some of us. Just want to watch a short review on the bag not so many not so much on the tools but uh yeah just a little backstory about myself i am an electrician by trade technically i'm a commercial electrician um right now i'm uh, i got put in a permanent position at a university here in my hometown so i became more of uh pretty much a little bit of everything as far as changing all light poles, uh, bulbs on, on light poles, or that's what I was doing uh, last week, to adding receptacles, adding data, doing some wire mold. I am based out of the suburbs of Chicago, so I, we do everything with conduit. And so, enough said, I am an electrician, like I said, but here are my tools, my Tech XL bag i guess i'll start with the outside of the bag you know real nice setup they have here in front of the bag you have this pouch it goes in about sorry it goes in about eh, for cards maybe about two inches deep sorry if I keep on moving the, i gotta get used to this i'm not really a youtuber but i figure that you know i gotta inform you guys because this is a pretty expensive bag i'd say a little pricey you know and I know when I was looking around, I want to watch every single video before I invest, you know, $300 in this freaking bag, you know. So that's why I'm doing this video because I know there's there's good videos out there of the Tech XL, but, the, you know, they're like 20 minute long videos that go in depth with all the tools. This is my screwdriver. These are my clients. You get the time for that. Great. If not, you know, I'm trying to keep this keep this uh, video under five minutes. Hopefully I make my mark. So first you know first of all the bag is freaking it's rugged i bought it because my one of, buddy of mine has the pack the backpack version of it and i don't like the backpack version of me or rather it doesn't suit me uh good because of the backpack and i'll show you guys once i get to the to the to the back of the, of the bag you know the backpack is a little limited as far as for bigger tools but let me enough of it you know in the front of the bag you got these d-rings right here which are pretty heavy duty looking d-rings sorry and then on the side you have for electrical tape you know i got markers pencils i got this knife i use it to cut tiles you know when i put uh any sensors in the in a in a tile or something i use this to cut you know cut the ceiling tiles top of the bag this thing is freaking rugged man i love this freaking handle you grab it and it just feels rugged it just feels like it's gonna last freaking 10 years on the other side of the bag you have this heavy duty uh tape measure clip which is the most rugged tape measure clip i've ever you know had or seen rather and two more little pouches for markers and whatnot and then, like I said, uh, this is more. This is another pouch here. It's it goes all the way down to the you know, my fingers, about four inches deep. Um, I, I I don't carry much stuff in here because once you open it up and it and it folds, with, like I'm about to show you, um, you you it doesn't fold properly. The bottom of the bag has a very very hard plastic that's not gonna break anytime soon i i hope so you open up the bag and boom you got all my tools and you know screwdrivers in the back you know more hand tools in the in the middle with the meter that fits in a pouch there and my impact certain impact you know you gotta have an impact i use company tools but i like having my my impact you know for Mounting it on my side when I go up to close a box in the ceiling or something, you know. And up here, I got my my headphones, my AirPods. You know, I had some storage up here, as you can see. And this is my Klein Tools angle. 
uh, device to you know match angles or whatnot or or when you bending big pipe. And then up here you got more storage where I got my stubby my my uh, outlet tester and my security bit holder some 632 some 832s and little pouches these are these are you know these are about an inch deep so you can't put much stuff in there sorry you were i, I realized that we're over five minutes now wow okay it's all, it's all good as long as you guys get an in-depth review one thing i don't like about this bag guys is here you know i have bits in here but it's you get about you can see that you get about a i don't know an inch clearance maybe you're able to fit some bits in the bottom of your bag which i got my file my my chisel bit and you know some other bits in there but it's i wish they would have give you a little bit more space to fit longer things like i have my file here as you can see it's a little tight in there which i don't mind because i don't use it all the time those are tools i don't use all the time but yeah it's not much clearance i, I wish it would have an extra an inch or something you know just to fit more stuff in there but other than that you know this is the front of the bag and like i mentioned earlier it has two buttons here that you know sorry i'm trying to do it with one hand you know that you gotta button them up in here to hold the flap together whatever you, you get the point i got only one hand and then it has another single button in here that goes to here these two buttons clip so it folds like that real nice that's how i keep it you know when i open it when i start working it looks real nice you know i get a lot of compliments it looks rugged it's professional you know it looks good it's beautiful bag beautiful design for electricians this i think i know this was designed mostly for hvac guys beautiful pro pack but i think this is more for electricians which i believe that's what they advertise this bag as the back of the bag we have this little pouch which i love i have my uglies electrical book i have my wire stickers for circuit numbers uh chewing gum get it back in there i'll put it in later whatever sorry guys i'm not your typical youtuber i'm just a electrician i wanted to give you guys a little more insight you know hopefully that doesn't fall but this is the back of the bag this is where I'm, i store all my bigger tools the first day i got it guys i, I was this comes with a bunch of pouches here a bunch of pouches here that that has room for tools i needed something you know a little bit more because i every single bag i've had i just throw a bunch of junk in the bottom of the bag you know freaking 832 screw drywall screws tap guns reducing uh, washers ko fillers wire nuts anything you could think of i got in there because there's all i work alone most of the time so it would suck to go all the way you know back to the lockup it's like in a different building from most of the time or whatnot so i just throw a bunch of stuff in there and i i got a little bit of everything in there i just throw it i do that with all of my bags and uh you know you always it always bails you out to keep a junk at the bottom of the of the bag that saves your you know saves you some time you need, you need a washer i don't know i always done that and it's worked out well for me i'm only going to show you guys uh one or maybe two tools that i absolutely love this one which is my klein tools wire strippers but they're a little hybrid of a linesman uh pliers or klein's whatever you want to call them they got 632 cutters for your screws and 832s and you, you strip 16 14 and 12s which is what I work with 80% of the time, maybe 90% of the time. Um, this is great. It has a freaking uh, crimper and a fish tape puller. This thing, these, these guys are amazing, guys. I highly, highly, highly recommend you guys get these. Because linesmen, they work great. These are not too heavy for, I know electricians don't use hammers. We use freaking our clients and whatnot. These are not too heavy for, oops, almost dropped the phone. These are not too heavy duty for banging into stuff. They're, 
you know, a lot of guys, some of you savage are going to think these are a little light duty and probably not going to like them, but I love them because they're, they're, they have enough juice to replace your clients as far as for wire stripping and twisting wire. But, uh, you know, I highly recommend that tool. Highly, highly recommend it. My favorite tool. I've had them for about a year now. And I was I always thought to myself, I should have bought these uh, eight years ago when I was starting on my career. And then the second one is this little Milwaukee tool, guys. This thing is freaking amazing. I've had this, this light for about two years now. These two tools I highly recommend if you're an electrician or a freaking HVAC tech or one or, you know, this little light. I use it every single day when I'm crawling in the in ceiling with ceiling tiles and stuff. I get great battery life. It lasts about eight hours, I believe, you know, on high and about 16 hours on low, which I use it on low. And, it, and you know, it lasts about two weeks, maybe the battery. Great little light, you know. I think it has 350 lumens and 500 lumens on high and 350 on medium or low. It has two settings. And this light, guys, it's not going to light up a whole room. It's going to light up a, a small workspace. So, and it's going to do a great job at doing that. I, I, I love using that light. I use it pretty much every single day. Um, it has a phone charger here. You can plug in your phone, charge it, press this button. And then to get back to the to the bag, you guys, you know, this is my setup. This thing has a zipper pouch here across. I'm gonna show you. It's good enough to keep. I got a phone charger, I believe, in there, and some some blades for your box cutter. And uh an anti-dog. So yeah, guys, short, short, short video. I try to, wow, we're at 13 minutes almost, or 12 minutes. Wow. But yeah, this is the bag, guys. You know, you have about four inches here. Now that I was a, I was able to pull on the pouches and get a sharp knife and just cut all the, you know, all those pouches out because I needed space to keep, you know, this stuff, the bigger stuff. Because I need, uh... Need some space for bigger tools also and you know it's not just about all the hand tools for me at least you know if you guys need all the space for the hand tools you could put more hand tools back here on the original uh pouches front that, that the bag comes with i was able i had to cut them off and i actually cut them off on the first day i got it so i was a little bit scared but i'm so glad i did that uh, it has a has a like a like a hard plastic liner in the bag so this thing's freaking rugged you know has a hard plastic in the bag i'm sorry in the bag not the bag but yeah guys this is my uh beetle pro pack tech xl um highly highly recommend it. I, I think i got it for about 330 bucks on amazon um if you're an electrician this is the perfect bag this is a home run this is what i used to use my uh milwaukee <coughs> excuse me Milwaukee uh, backpack. Backpacks are great, guys. But eventually, I don't want it. I started using the pack out setup. So, I, and I'm glad I did because uh, I, I, I'm the type of electrician that carries everything. Because, like I said before, I'm always working alone. And I don't want to be going back to the car for a freaking hammer or anything. I, you know, this is my setup that I use at the university all the time. And it works great. You know, my back appreciates it because that, that backpack got very, very heavy. So, yeah. This is it, guys. Sorry, I, I, wow, I prolonged it. But Tech XL, highly, highly recommend it. I didn't show you this pouch. I keep masks in here, you know, some just in case I need it. But uh, this, this pouch is actually pretty deep. It goes all the way to the bottom of this. It's about, what, six inches? So... It has more D rings in the bag, the handle. Very, very rugged, very hard plastic. That that'll never give out. I plan on having this bag for at least 10, 10 years. Um, I know it's probably gonna be longer than that, but this bag, the way I see it, just the construction of it, it's gonna last me forever. Because look at look at the Milwaukee. This this Milwaukee bag. 
started freaking ripping on me. I had, I had this bag for about five years. So not bad. But uh, like I said, backpacks, you know, if, if, if you have a decent amount of tools or a minimum amount of tools, backpacks are the way to go, my opinion. But if you're like me that, you you know, my bag weights 55 pounds, I think, when I put in the scale. Um, if it uh weights above, you know, 40 pounds, you know, your back swinging that thing around might hurt your back one of these days or whatnot i was i was afraid of that so i'm only 31 years old so my back appreciates it and yeah let me know if you have any questions guys like i said i'm sorry for the quality of the video i mean i'm just a dumb electrician you know i'm not a professional youtuber like you guys or some of you guys that have a whole setup i'm just here in my garage making this informing you guys i'm pretty sure i did a shitty job but i want to I want to give you another angle of it. I'm not going to show you all my all my freaking tools because, I, I, you know, I've seen 40-minute videos. And, and, you know, if you're here for that, sorry to disappoint, but, you know, I'm not going to waste your time. Some of us just want a quick set, a quick uh, tour of the bag. But, yeah, flip it around. And again, here's the front of the bag. I love the setup I got going on. Yeah, let me know if you have any questions.